Hey everyone, PMS Black Queen here with an unboxing and this is for Pepfo Spoiled Rotten for February 2015. As usual, I'll put all the information down below in case you want to get your very own Petflow Spoiled Rotten box. Alright, let's see what we have inside for this month. As usual, this here is the card for the month of February, and it's the little introduction that tells you the theme of the box for this month. If you want to contact PetFlow, you can do it at the following information. You can go to their website, like them on Facebook. You can give them a call if you want to as well. And this picture, this is the spoiled rotten lover of the month. Is that little cute dog right there? I'm not sure what kind of dog that is, but such a cutie. And on the back side, here are some lists of the companies that are featured in this month's box. All right. Oh, yeah. This box is chocked full of stuff. This is awesome. First thing I see right off the bat is this Mega Chews. And this is in the flavor of turkey. This is from Etta Says. And as you can see, this is really, really thick. It may take my dog a minute to get through this, but eventually he will. And he likes the Etta Says Chews. He's had them before. They are made in the USA, as you can see. And if this would focus, you can go to their website there, or you can just Google Etta Says, and I'm sure something will come up in case you want to find out more information about the company. Next up, these are from Brew Buddies, and these are the Malted Barley Treats, and these are six ounces here. And these are what the treats look like there. My dog has had these before, and he does seem to like them. And here's some information on the back, ingredients and whatnot, which are pretty, pretty decent. Next up, we have something here from Red Barn. And this is the Rawhide Bone. And Red Barn's a good company. They're also made in the USA. And looks like this one is peanut butter and jelly. So, yep, I'm sorry, it's not. It's ham and cheese flavor. My bad. Look like peanut butter and jelly to me. But this is a rawhide bone. It may take him a minute to get through this too, but he will. Next up, we have something from Sliders. This is called the Tender Sticks. This is chicken and cheddar recipe. As you can see there, there are the ingredients. It is made in the USA also, and this is what the treat looks like. It looks like a little piece of beef jerky. We also have something here from It's Purely Natural, and these are the chicken tenders here. And these treats are also made in the USA. They have no additives, no byproducts, or fillers. They are also gluten and soy free, gluten free, glycerin free, I'm sorry, glycerin free, gluten free, soy free, and wheat free. And here is the back. Some information there if you can take a quick look. You can go to LovingPets.com for more information. You can, they have a Facebook page. They also have a Twitter. You can follow them there as well. And then last, well, not last. Actually, here's a toy from Multipet. This is a Multipet dog toy, and I feel the, uh, the crinkled paper. Do you squeak? You squeak. Yes, you do. There's a squeak at the bottom. There's a squeak in the head as well. So it is, I'm not sure what this toy is called. It says stretch and wrinkle. That's the name of the, that's what the little sticker says. The original, oh, it's a loofah dog. The original loofah dog, I stretch and crinkle. So this will be fun, fun, fun for him. And it does kind of stretch as you can probably see there. Good for playing tug. Oh, there's a few more things in here. This is also from Red Barn. And this is a beefy flavored filled hoof. And as you can see, there's the filling inside there, and this is the hoof, something for him to chew on, which is awesome. And then last but not least, we have here, this doesn't have a name to it, but I believe this is like a ear, like a pig's ear treat. So again, something for him to chew on and to keep him occupied, basically. And that is everything in this month's Pet Flow Spoiled Rotten Box. There was a lot in this box, just like the last month's box, which is why I love this subscription so much for my dog. 
let's go ahead and recap what we received in this box because it was chocked full of goodies all right first of all we got this pig ear here we also received from loving pets the it's purely natural chicken tenders from Red Barn Naturals, we received a rawhide bone, and I got the ham and cheese flavor. From our friends here at Multipet, I received this toy here. It's of a little dog that squeaks and crinkles. Also from Red Barn, I received a filled hoof in beef flavor, which look like, looks like that there. From Sliders, we received a chicken and cheddar recipe, like beef jerky. From Brew Buddies, we received the malted barley treats here. And again, the treats look like that there. And then last but not least, from Etta Says, this mega chew in turkey flavor. Again, and that is everything in this month's Pet Flow Spoiled Rotten Box. Wow, I'm so happy with this. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you get Pet Flow Spoiled Rotten, let me know what you got in your box. It may get, we may get different things because my dog is small. He's 11 pounds. So if you have a bigger dog, the things in the box may cater to, you know, the bigger dog. So if you do get this box, let me know what you got. Leave a comment down below or a video response. Don't forget to rate. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will talk to you guys next month for March's Pet Flow Spoiled Rotten Box. Be blessed and have a fantastic day.